This video is sponsored by EA. Hey everyone, it's Flackfire. Battlefield 2042 has several different experiences, and one of them lets you change up the rules of war, quite literally. Welcome to Battlefield Portal. Battlefield Portal is a love letter to fans. You want to relive classic Battlefield 1942 with incredible graphics? You can do that. Wish you could play Conquest on Battlefield Bad Company 2's Valparaiso? You can do that too. Want to play with Battlefield 2042 specialists on timeless Battlefield 3 maps? Yep, you can. Portal puts tremendous power in your hands. To get started, visit portal.battlefield.com. Once you're there, you'll have to sign in with your EA account or create one. Next, select whether you want to modify an existing experience or build one from scratch. For this video, I'm going to walk you through building your first portal experience from the ground up. So we're going to hit create something new. On the left side of the screen is where you'll find your custom game parameters. You can come back to these whenever you like, but for now it's easiest to simply follow the prompts like a questionnaire. First, select the kind of game mode you want to create. You've got a few different options here. Rush, Conquest, Conquest Large, Team Deathmatch, and Free For All. You'll notice the latter two have this little wrench here. That means you can dig deep into those modes with the powerful Rules Editor, though. That's something for a different video. For this example, I'll pick Classic Conquest and continue on to Map Rotation. Here is where you'll select the maps that you want. Some maps are limited by size or by game mode, so if you're looking for a map and don't find it here, it might be available under a different game mode. Let's say we're going for that World War II feel, so I'm going to select Battlefield 1942 Classics, Battle of the Bulge, and El Alamein. Next up are game mode details. This is where you decide how big your games will be and how long they'll last. You can choose up to 128 players, but remember that player counts above 64 are not available on some platforms. If you want asymmetrical teams, all you have to do is click the link icon here and then weigh the team separately. For our example on Conquest, Game Time sets the maximum runtime for the game, while Reinforcement Multiplier sets the number of tickets. The higher the multiplier here, the higher the ticket count. You can also tweak how squad spawns work, limit the number of classes in a squad, and decide how many tickets are lost when an enemy is killed. Pro tip here for you, keep an eye out for this little information icon here. That provides important details about what each of these options do. Meanwhile, under the Modifier tab, you'll find a lot of helpful options to further tailor the game mode to your liking. For gameplay modifiers, you can do things like toggle friendly fire on or off, bump the damage multipliers for punchier weapons, or you can even turn off aim assist. Personally, I like tweaking the headshot damage multiplier to reward players for hitting those skill shots. Under the Soldier tab, you'll find Movement Modifiers. For example, you can turn off Sprint or Slide, or even disable Proning for a more classic Battlefield experience. This is also where you can change the amount of health that soldiers have and how fast it regenerates. For vehicles, you can choose how a vehicle spawns, as well as how quickly a vehicle becomes available after it's destroyed. Similarly, you can set health and regen values and even decide whether or not players can exit vehicles. The User Interface tab gives you control over the information that players have available. You can do things like turn off the compass and minimap to test player situational awareness, or you can drop the HUD entirely forcing players to survive just by their wits alone. The next tab is particularly important. That's your AI tab. This lets you tweak the settings around Battlefield Portal's AI players. This includes setting the number of AI players, which is capped at 60, as well as the type. PvE AI cannot be replaced by real players, while PvP AI are used to backfill servers and will be replaced as real players join your server. The latter are a great tool when it comes to getting servers off the ground, and I can highly recommend them if you're building a mode you want others to play. You'll notice you can also set AI difficulty, and honestly, I would not underestimate them. Even on beginner, you'll find yourself challenged more often than you might think. 
AI will automatically engage enemies and attack objectives. However, they won't conform to logic changes, which means you can't do things like tell them to prioritize a VIP over other players. Lastly, you get to choose your teams. At its most basic, you can simply select teams from a particular battlefield era, mix and match, or you can of course just leave them at the map defaults. I'll dig into restrictions and the rules editor a bit more into a future video, but for right now, let's save your brand new game mode. Choose a name for your game mode and write a brief description for players. If Portal says it's a valid experience, you're good to go. Hit save and you'll find your custom game mode in the Battlefield Portal, provided you've linked your accounts. You can also share your newly minted mode with everyone using its unique Portal Experience code. And to host a game with this code, visit the Host tab inside a Battlefield Portal. Finally, if you want to delete a mode you've created in Battlefield Portal, select the dots next to the Show Code button under Manager Experience. Here, you can duplicate the mode or delete it entirely. Hopefully, this gives you a great grasp of how the basics work inside a Battlefield Portal. To get started building your own experience, visit portal.battlefield.com. Battlefield Portal is included with Battlefield 2042. As always, thanks for watching.